This EF EcoFlow portable power station Delta 2 Max looks so sleek and modern at first glance. It has this rectangular, compact design with a sturdy handle that makes moving it around manageable, though it isn't the lightest thing for sure. The mix of black and gray gives it a professional, no-nonsense appearance. And honestly, it looks pretty high-tech. It's not every day that you see a power station that screams future-proof just from its design. Now, let me share my personal experience with it and why I think it's worth considering if you're on the lookout for something reliable. When I initially got my hands on this product, I was honestly a little skeptical. I mean, you hear so many promises about portable power stations these days, and I wasn't sure if this one would live up to all the hype. But after just a couple of times using it, my opinion totally shifted. I've had it for what feels like ages now, and it hasn't let me down once, even in situations where I absolutely needed it to perform 100%. Speaking of those situations, this power station has been an absolute lifesaver during power outages. I live in an area where storms can hit out of nowhere, knocking power out for hours and sometimes even days. The biggest test I put this battery through was during an unexpected storm that left us without power for three full days. I thought, okay, let's see if this thing is really worth it. And boy, did it deliver. It powered just about everything I needed my sump pump, Wi-Fi router, phone, laptop, a couple of lights, and even my refrigerator. It amazed me because this thing kept my important appliances running for the full three days, without any hiccups, and I was able to maintain some sense of normal life during all that chaos. One thing I love about the Delta II Max is the ability to recharge it in so many ways. It feels incredibly versatile because when power is out, I can switch to its solar charging mode. It's simple, connect your solar panels and you're ready to go and the more panels you use, the faster it charges. It's like building your own mini solar farm. There was one instance where I borrowed my friend's extra solar panels, and I could actually speed up the charging process significantly. Of course, if solar isn't an option, you can charge it conventionally. What's handy is that it's super fast. An hour is typically all you need to get most of the battery charged. And let's talk durability. It's incredibly well built. I've used this thing outdoors during some pretty rough camping trips when the weather wasn't exactly ideal, and it's held up just fine. Rain, wind, a little dirt, it doesn't seem to bother this unit much. I'd recommend giving it a quick wipe down every so often, but maintenance is close to zero. The entire setup feels like it's meant to last, and considering how much I've pushed it, I feel confident saying it's solidly built. A feature I didn't know I'd appreciate so much is how quiet it is during operation. If you've ever used older gas-powered generators, you know how annoying the noise can get. This power station, by comparison, is whisper quiet. I can run it overnight without waking up at random times because of an obnoxious hum. In camping situations, this has been a particular blessing. It keeps everything peaceful while still handling all my power needs. Now, let me quickly address the weight. It's about 50 pounds. It feels pretty hefty when you first lift it, and I won't lie, it's not exactly a grab it with one hand and go situation, but once I set it down, it's pretty easy to push or slide into place, even on my carpeted floor. So while the weight might seem like a drawback initially, it hasn't been a deal breaker for me. If you're someone who needs to move it frequently, just keep that part of its design in mind. Another really useful point is the battery expandability. I didn't think I'd need this feature at first, but I ended up buying the extra battery this past year and it's changed the way I use the Delta II Max. Now, instead of needing to recharge as often, I have double the capacity, which is incredible when I know I'll be off-grid or dealing with an extended outage. It's this modular aspect of the product that makes it feel like a future-proof investment for me. You don't have to buy everything all at once, but adding on to it later is straightforward and seamless. That bring me problems. That bring me to the mobile app. It's such a small thing, but I really like being able to monitor things straight from my phone. I can see how much charge is left, set automations, and get notified when it's time to recharge. I didn't think I'd use this feature when I first read about it, but it's been handy, especially when I'm multitasking and don't want to constantly check on the device. However, I should mention that this isn't a magic solution for every appliance. Larger appliances like a washing machine or a bigger freezer will drain the battery faster than you might expect. From my experience, it's perfect for keeping smaller to mid-sized devices running smoothly, especially during emergencies or outdoor use. If you plan to power heavy-duty electronics like that consistently, just keep in mind that it will reduce your runtime quite a bit.
In conclusion, I think the EF EcoFlow Portable Power Station Delta 2 Max is one of the most useful purchases I've made. It gives me a lot of peace of mind knowing I can stay powered when the unexpected happens. The blend of efficiency, versatility, and reliability makes it such a worthwhile investment. If you need something for emergencies, outdoor adventures, or even just a backup for your home appliances, I'd recommend giving this a shot. It's been a true workhorse for me, and I genuinely think you'll get value out of it as well. I will post full information about the EF EcoFlow Portable Power Station Delta 2 Max in the comments section. See you in the following videos.